Calabash Entertainment and Promotions, the one-stop shop for entertainment, television host, radio presenter, event manager, artist manager, public relations manager, protocol officer, and real estate agent. You can email us at calabash at gmail.com and you can follow us on Twitter at Calabash ENT. You can find us on Facebook at Down to Earth with Wendy or Calabash Entertainment and Promotions. Welcome back, Down to Oot with Wendy. Yes, Drupati. So we want to touch a little bit on, uh, we were talking earlier about your views in competition and how fear or not fear it seems to be. And I, I totally agree with you to the standpoint where sometimes you, you, you attend a competition or you're listening and you're watching and you're thinking, what just happened there? The results went all over the place. Does it deter you from competing or do you think competition is what your fans will want to see on the stage? My fans will love to see me mm-hmm. on stage on com- in, in competition, sorry. Mm-hmm. But um, to me, I think I have reached my limits. Does my that limits. mean no this more year, competition? This year was your last? Uh, with some. I'm, I have to think about it. Okay. So, Food we're up. not going to burst the bubble. We will mm-hmm. see how it goes next yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I hope to see you on the stage in competition. I think you're right. You're born and pay your dues. It takes a lot of... From you also, huh? Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, you're talking 1986. I was in school. <laughs> I was in school. 1986, I was in senior comprehensive. And I came out 87, yeah. 88. Exactly. So, I totally agree with your views on competition. Do you write? I started to write a Which little with helping, you know. Mm-hmm. And that is where I um, still, I am still there. Everybody have the calling you. You have, if it's one thing you have, is a superb chutney voice. A unique, unique. It, I, it, I it, know. It, I get a lot of that from people. I've heard, um, and I'm still hearing loads of female artists. No, no disrespect to them. I'm really pleased for their contribution in chutney. But when you hear your voice, it's distinctive. It's distinctive. It stand out. And it's as if you were born to do this. Well, um, after having Bissessa, itchy eight. And doing back a remix with Alison Hine, it sung the same, same, same. Really? Yeah. Wow. And I sang it. I did not. They did not take it from the record to say. Right. I sang it over, and it was the same. Same original voice. Up till now, is the same. Is the same. Excellent. Tell me your views on collaborations, because you you've had few, very few. You've collaborated with Marshall twice. Well, Alison once. Yeah, yeah, I had collaboration with um. Some chutney artists like mm-hmm. Satnar and Ragu, Andy Singh, and okay. um, Hitman, you know, mm-hmm. all of that. I, yeah. had, I had a lot of um, uh, collaborations. Okay, do you think they are an advantage or a disadvantage? It's nice, it's not advantage, okay. and it's not disadvantage. Okay. It is to keep, you know, to keep going. You have to keep there, mm-hmm. don't drop. You have to keep there, and you keep moving up and up and up. So I think it's a nice thing to do collab- collaborations because um, doing collaborations, I did Unity. Yes. Which was, well, when I did Unity and I did this song this year, mm-hmm. Indian Girl, mm-hmm. it is 12 years. Wow. It okay. was 12 yes. years. Mm-hmm. Did not know it would have been such a big hit. 
Okay. I was just cool and calm and you know. Yeah, but you're always very humble though, eh? And that song came about with um Indian girl with though it um some young guys, I must say kudos to them, David and uh, Manny and um oh, okay. They who did that song? Yes, yeah, Stephen, mm -hmm. the ghostwriters. They call themselves the ghostwriters. Mm -hmm. And they did it in the and their studio, they had everything ready, sent it down to my manager, Mona. Mm-hmm. We listened to it, and the song, it, 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 it the, from the time you hear it, tang, 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 exactly. it's an infectious beat also. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you just go crazy over it because it's such a nice beat. And Mona heard it, she was jumping with joy, and she said, yes, we have to do the song. When I listen to it, I said to myself, wait a minute, I am hearing something <laughs> like, walk up the nanny. Right, boy, come man, walk up the nanny. But I said, plain and flat. I said, Mona, I'm not going down that road again. I'm yeah. not going down nanny road again. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, so she said to me, Okay, okay, we will see what we could do. Mm -hmm. She took the phone, called back the, um, the ghost writers and mm -hmm. them, and um, we got together. Mm -hmm. Mona changed up. We did, we did a lot of changes in the song, because right. You know, the young guys in them know Nani as a grandmother. Nani could be uh, a person who takes care of uh, uh, children. Children. Mm -hmm. So you see, they did, and, and you know, Nani in our, in Indian is... Um, grandmother. Yeah. Drupati, we're going to take another break. We'll be right back.